today I'm starting off with some van life reality for y'all. This is what the van has been looking like for the past couple days, to be honest. Um, I'm currently traveling Portugal with a friend, and whenever there's more than two people in the van, this is what it ends up looking like. There's just so many things in the van that don't belong in the van, so they don't really have a place and space, and they're all over everywhere. So I guess this is the last Instagrammable part of van life. <laughs> And to be honest, what it looks like most of the time, at least for me. So I'm currently parked up in a camping spot in Lisbon, which is the only camping I've found. Um, which is quite expensive, but the reason for that is that um, Lisbon is a big city and I've heard of many people getting their van broken into here and this is a little bit still my paranoia even after one month of living here I am still quite paranoid about people breaking into the van so whenever I go to big cities I try to park somewhere safe even though it's gonna cost me a bit more of money um, I don't know if this is ever gonna go though <laughs> I just hope I'm getting used to it at some point, because otherwise it's gonna get expensive. So these are the showers and bathrooms they have here. Um, the showers being back here. And to be honest, the only thing that really bothers me here is there is only one knob. You cannot choose how cold or warm we want the water. And it only lasts like 15 seconds or 20 maybe. And for 28 bucks. I mean, okay. I really wanted to do my laundry today, but turns out, first of all, I don't have enough stuff for a full load. Do you say load? Is that weird? Ah, for a full machine? <laughs> Um, and second of all, it's the only, literally the only day it's been raining, so I can't dry my stuff. Yep, living in the van made me really weather dependent, and it's really challenging my organization skills, because right now I don't have clothes and I can't wash them, which kind of sucks, but I also think it's kind of funny, because I need to rethink everything I do in so many ways. I didn't have this before, because I just had all the many these I needed, always. It's a fun challenge. I like it. Let's ask Johnny what he thinks about this. Jonathan, rate this van life experience <laughs> from one to ten. <laughs> uh, rate it. No. <laughs> You're not even gonna rate it? Is it that bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's loving it, I promise. <laughs> I think one of the greatest things about my friendship with Johnny is that we're very similar, which is great in a travel buddy, honestly, because otherwise things can just get rough if you have different ideas of what you want to do. Today our plan was completely different, we wanted to explore Sintra, which is a really cool place here, but the minute we got there we both just felt like it wasn't the right thing to do. We've been so caught up in traveling. And this is something that happens to me a lot since I live in a van, is I get so caught up in adventuring and traveling and seeing things that I forget to rest. Yeah, that can be tough sometimes. So today we just drove up to this cool beach and um, we're gonna take it slow now. Relax for a while, feel the energy of this place, which is absolutely amazing. Maybe cook something nice and then do our own thing for a while. <laughs>
I really think it's insane at this point how much time I spend cleaning the floor of this bed. <laughs> it's always dirty somehow. This is a never ending thing. But it's therapeutical sometimes to just sit on the floor and wipe, swipe, wipe, sweep, sweep the floor. This is the book I'm currently rereading for the I don't know how many time. I think like, if you know Eckhart Tolle, these are some things that you just read for the rest of your life. And shout out to my buddy Sheridan who made these super cool prints of pictures he took, which are freaking awesome. And just make jalapeno look so much cozier. Well, since I do want to be at least a little bit productive today, I'm gonna practice my tattooing skills now, which is the latest thing I'm into since like a few months, because I really, really want to um, get into tattooing. I've been illustrating my entire life, but making my art permanent on people would be freaking dope, especially if I can do it on the road. I think the most challenging part for me right now with the tattooing thing is it's just, I feel like I have to practice on real people in order to get better because skin behaves so much differently than all those fake fake skins or fruits you can tattoo on. And it's just so scary <laughs> to make something permanent on someone who's alive and is gonna have that for the rest of their life. Good morning, everybody. This is by far one of the craziest places I've woken up to. Let me show you. explain how powerful the ocean makes me feel. This sounds so weird, but it's crazy. The energy that this place has. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna heat up some nut milk. <laughs> this video is getting spicy. I meant actual nut milk uh, for Johnny, and we're gonna have a warm drink outside. Oh, this is not working with one hand. Guess my one hand skills aren't there yet. <laughs> I should stop this. Check this cool pot handle out. Shout out to Niglins, <laughs> who gave me the idea. I forgot to put the fire off. This filming multitasking thing is not working out for me. Okay, okay, challenge accepted. <laughs> this is gonna go so bad. I got I got some warm drinks for ya. Okay, wait. How is this gonna work? Uh uh. Uh oh.